In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. Hey, what's up, guys? Jersey Joel Fishing here. Today is December 1st, 2020. I am back. It's been a rough couple of weeks, very long couple of weeks. I just got over my COVID quarantine. I feel good. Feels like forever since I went fishing. You know, it's going to be 50 degrees today and partly sunny. I'm over here at a lake behind me where they stocked the big winter trout just a few days ago. So we're going to see if they're biting. If I catch a big winter rainbow trout, maybe I'll do a catch and cook. I've been waiting to do another catch and cook for the last several weeks here. But trout are very hard to catch sometimes. They get real finicky and the weather conditions and the rain and everything messes them up. So it's a little bit of a challenge. Hopefully I can get some here today. I'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes. Gonna try some corn first. I heard corn's pretty good when they're first stocked. And uh, I also got some power bait. And uh, we'll see if we can get some trout. They stocked over on this side and on the bigger side over here. So it's been a couple days since they stocked, like I said. And we'll see if they're biting. All right, put a couple pieces of corn on here. I got a bobber about two and a half feet up. And we'll see. Winter is here. It's going to be a nice day today, though. And, uh, let's see if we can get some trout. All right, guys. Here we go. First cast. Try some garlic-scented power bait on my other rod. All right. I got bobber out there with corn. Bobber out there with garlic power bait. I'm going to try a uh, Panther Martin spinner over here in this corner and uh, see if they're biting. Another fisherman over here, he's been here for about an hour and a half already, no bites yet. They just stocked them like two or three days ago, so I know when they first get stocked, a lot of these trout get very skittish, very finicky. It takes them a few days to bite. It's just a waiting game, it's all timing. You know, eventually they're going to get hungry and eat. You just got to be here when that happens. I hope I don't get snagged. There's some structure over here along the bank. But Panther Martin is one of the best trout spinners to use. A lot of flash, a lot of vibration. So throw the spinner around while my other bait's out there. And uh, see if we get a bite. Here we go. Definitely feels good to be out fishing again, though. It's been a couple of weeks. It feels like forever. Being stuck home, quarantining, resting up, and getting better. Watched a lot of movies. I played some Xbox. Watched a lot of fishing videos on YouTube. That's it. Wore my face mask around the house. I stayed away from the rest of the family. They all tested negative, thankfully. You know, this virus affects everyone differently. Everyone's got a different immune system. They have a different blood type. Finally glad that I got this behind me. Yeah, Which side? Uh, Over there? Yeah. 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 Then he fished for another hour and he went home. Yeah. What's the limit now for the winter? Still three or is it two now? Four. Oh, it's four? Oh, it is? Oh, okay. After June 31st, four trout. Okay. It goes from what? Six to four? Six to four. Okay. Yeah, yeah four. I'm of the volition now when I, let's say I get my limit now. Yeah. I quit. Yep. Me too. All right. I'm going to change it up. Let me try a uh, Berkeley Power Worm. Orange color. I'm just going to wacky rig it with a split shot, like two feet up. 
we'll see. Maybe they're on the bottom. I'm not seeing any surface activity. Nobody's catching anything. It's been a rough couple hours here. Might have to come back later and try again. We'll see. All right, let's see if they want the power worm. It does get pretty deep out here. Five hours later. All right, moved to the other side. Went and got something to eat and came back. Some people that were fishing here left. It's getting later in the day now. Gonna try over on this side. Got Serenity with me. Hi, baby. <laughs> and I'm gonna actually fish off the bottom. I got some weights. I'm gonna try a night crawler and maybe power bait. It gets deep out here, maybe like 12 feet, and maybe they're hanging out on the bottom. Not really seeing any surface activity, and uh, we'll see if we can get a trout on this side. I got night crawlers, I got power bait, I got spinners, I got everything. It'll be awesome if I get a trout, especially a big one. Those are hard to come by. All right, let's try over in this corner. Here we go. Gonna try a power bait nugget, rainbow colored, with a bobber on my other rod. And then maybe I'll try a spinner on my third rod, we'll see. That off. That was a big bite. That was a big bite. Let's see if he bites again. Just had a big bite over here, guys. Bobber went under for like five seconds. By the time I reeled in, he got off. Five minutes later. <gasps> Getting another bite. Got him. Good fight, good fight. Nice trout. I got him. I got him, guys. Look at this trout. Look at this rainbow. Took like 35 minutes. I got him. I'm the night crawler. Look at how fat. Look at the size of this. Trout, I have been waiting a long time for this, guys. I got him. I'm the night crawler, about 20 yards out. Looks for any rainbow fishy. Unbelievable. Let me get a couple photos and unhook them. Bring him home. This guy is dinner. Catch and cook winter trout 2020. Awesome. Look at this trout, guys. <laughs> Monster trout. Winter trout on the night crawler. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Awesome. Look at that, Serenity. Nice trout, right? We got a fishy. Yeah. Let's get a measurement on him. Let's see how long he is. Sixteen and a half inches, guys. Sixteen and a half inch rainbow. Awesome. All right. It's going to get dark in a few minutes. Beautiful trout here. 16 and a half inches. Let's see if we can get one more. That was awesome. Well, I had two more bites and they got off. Gonna start heading back. It's gonna get dark in a few minutes. Gonna go home and cook up this big rainbow trout. This was awesome. I wanted to catch a fish, only wanted to catch one, and I'm happy. Big winter rainbow trout. That was awesome. After almost three weeks, 
being quarantined. I finally got my big trout, winter trout 2020. Now let's go home and cook them up. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, back home now. I just gutted and cleaned this beautiful rainbow trout here. Look at how pink this flesh is. It looks like salmon. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try a new recipe again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bones out. They got all these bones over here. You see under my thumb, you can just pull them out with tweezers or if you have a small pair of needle nose pliers, that'll work too. You can take all the bones out. I'm actually gonna cut the meat up into chunks and I think I'm gonna cook it like a stir fry, like a Chinese food stir fry with some rice and noodles. You know, Chinese recipe, you know, stir fry. Gonna try that, it should be pretty good. I got soy sauce, I got teriyaki sauce, I got noodles here, I got rice. I got this beautiful pink trout meat and it should be, it should be really good. I mean, it's almost like an orange color. Really good looking meat here. All right, let me start getting these bones out and I'll cut them up into chunks and I'll let you know when we're ready to start cooking. All right, this trout is all cut up in pieces. I got most of the bones out with needle nose pliers. If there's a couple left hanging around, that's all right. I could just pick it right out of the meat once it's cooked. I put some butter in here. I'm gonna throw some salt and pepper, and then I'm actually gonna throw some rice in and maybe some noodles. Let this cook for a few minutes, and I'll toss them around just like a stir fry. Add the rice, and uh, this should be pretty good. I've been cooking this trout for about 10 minutes. I got some white rice, I threw some noodles in. Now I'm gonna throw some soy sauce in here. This will be a full-blown Chinese food stir-fry trout dish. I love soy sauce. Gives it so much extra flavor. Just stir it around. I put some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic seasoning on the trout here. And I threw the rice and I cooked the noodles in. Now it's all cooking together. Really, really good. Look at that trout meat. It's almost fully cooked. And the noodles are almost done. The rice is done. Once this is all cooked, look at that trout. Look at that meat. This will be done in a couple minutes here. Should be really, really good. You always want to keep the pan hot when you're cooking stir fry, just like they do with the Chinese and Japanese restaurants. Really looking forward to this. This is gonna be really, really good. Should be done in a couple minutes here. And here it is, the finished product. Trout meat is all cooked. The rice and the noodles, I browned everything up. I got the soy sauce in there. Just letting it cool off for a minute and then we'll see how it tastes. Looks really good. All right guys, I'm ready for this taste test now. We'll see how this trout is. The stir fry recipe. Got some trout. I got some noodles, I'll get some rice, we'll see how it is. It's delicious. Let me try a big piece of trout by itself. Look how good that looks. Perfectly cooked, both sides. Really nice big chunk of meat here. Try some trout with some rice and some more noodles. Perfectly cooked trout meat. Two. 
perfect Chinese dinner with the trout meat, the noodles, the rice, the soy sauce, and the other seasonings. Really glad I tried this recipe. Chinese trout stir fry. Really delicious. All right, I'm going to finish eating all this up. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I went trout fishing today. They did the winter stocking last week. My first time fishing in about three weeks. So I went out a couple times today at the, one of the lakes that they stocked in my area. Didn't catch anything this morning. There were some other fishermen there. The trout were just being real finicky. They weren't biting. And then I came back for a couple hours before sunset. I had serenity, and I finally caught one. You know, I had about three bites on the night crawlers. I landed that one, 16 and a half inches, nice rainbow trout. I brought them home, cleaned them, and I tried that new recipe, Chinese stir fry with the noodles and the rice. It came out really, really good. I'm glad I tried that recipe. It was good to be back out fishing. It's going to be cold down in the Northeast, very cold winter. Everything's going to be iced up in the next month, but I'll be doing some river fishing and some multi-species, and I'll still be posting fishing videos. So look forward to some fishing all winter long from Jersey Joel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's good to be back. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys.